All right, so let's assemble the main uh, frame here and tunnel, which goes uh, quite easy. There's only a few screws, so we're going to go ahead. We'll assemble this these pieces together here first. They're held together with four screws. And on these, I like to use um, washers as well to get a little more surface area. And I do that on both sides. I'm going to use washers and then nuts. Um, we want these to come in from the uh, tunnel side and go into the frame so that we only have that small screw head sticking into the tunnel. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these um, started and then we'll put it in place. Okay, so I've got those four screws and then we're gonna put it up against this front frame section here and we're just gonna tighten those down. So once you get those four screws run in for a little added security, if you'd like, you can uh, go ahead and put some nuts on the inside uh, there. Just like, like so. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And uh, then of course you take a little wrench and, and tighten that down in the interest of saving time. I will do that off camera. So the next is going to be attaching this, the back half of the tunnel. Now I personally prefer to uh, use super glue and just glue this in place, but I know some like the option of being able to use screws. So I left that option there. So we'll screw it together for now, but um, personally I would rather use super glue and that'd be my recommendation. I think it's going to be a stronger um, attachment since you'll be able to glue the entire surface rather than just having screws. Now make sure that your screws go up from the bottom so that only the head is inside the tunnel here. That just helps so that if you um, fully bottom out the suspension the track is going to hit that and if it's only hitting this the screw head it shouldn't break off a track paddle but if it had a big bolt and sticking out there's a good chance you would break your paddles alright there we have it tunnel and frame assembled one more thing to note, if once you're at this point, if you plan to put tail lights in, now's a good time. So I found this, these right here, they're nothing special, but they were cheap. And, uh, and they work good. They just plug straight into your, straight into your receiver and, um, so you don't really you don't get to turn them on or off if if you're looking for that you need to spend a little more money but um, if you're gonna do your lights now is the time to do it before you get all your track and everything on so these would then um, they go up inside here and it's gonna take just a little a little bit of pushing and tweaking to get them to find that hole because it's gonna be a pretty snug fit um, but you want to get those in and then you'll want to mount this in place, two screws. Your wires will come down through here and you'll want to, um, just using hot glue I found is the easiest, just hot glue these wires over to, to this point up here. Now there's not a hole in this one, I'm going to have to drill the hole, but the new files, the ones that you'll be able to purchase, they'll already have that hole there 
and so you'll run your your wires up through that hole and then um, later on when this gets put on here these wires run up and they go right up through this section there and they come out here and then they'll be up front here so that you can plug those into the um, receiver up front and here it is now that I have installed those rear lights as you can see I've just routed my wires and held them down with just a little bit of hot glue and then up through the hole there and then I've got this mounted just with two short M3 screws.